What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. We're down at Caloundra Skate Park. It's a Sunday. We've got Harley and Matt here. And uh, I have a little special thing right here. It's my new scooter, 2022 version. My signature series scooter. And there's some new things on it, so... I'm gonna show you that I ride this thing straight out of the box. Like, it's the first scooter I've ever been able to ride just straight out of the box without changing absolutely anything. So, I'm keen to ride this today. And I also brought another thing, which is this handy dandy ramp. Do you want to open it, Brax? <laughs> you can. Just pull those straps. Pull them out. Yeah, that one. Who cares out of the box? Eh? Oh, look. They packed some deodorant in case you stink. <laughs> they actually just packed deodorant in that. No, I, I threw deodorant <laughs> in on my end because I couldn't really hold it. And then we have handlebars. Look, all right. Well, you can ride it first, but let me put it together. He's on. Look, you might want to tighten it up. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Six. Six. So even a six-year-old can do it. All right, hold on. Let me put it together and then you can ride it. All righty, here it is. The Ryan Williams Signature Scooter. The 560 version. Of course, dialed straight out of the box. This is exactly how it comes. Like, this is exactly how I ride it too. That's incredible to me to have a scooter that I can ride literally straight out of the box. But I want to quickly go through it. Um, some really tall bars, obviously, uh, if you get the smaller version of 500, it's a bit shorter. So if you're younger than me or you're smaller than me, then you can maybe go that version and the deck's going to be shorter. But for me, you can see it comes up. This is like a perfect height for me, uh, right at my waist. I find that perfect. I think it's, I'm not sure exactly on the height. I think it might be 23 inches high, 23 inches wide, maybe even bigger, like 25 inches high. I'm not sure. You have to check. I'll put all the, the descriptions, like all the stuff you need to know down the bottom for the size wise, but... Going down, we got the uh, R-Willy compression. So this thing is sick. I absolutely love this clamp. Uh, we redesigned it from the first model and I just love the look. I think this is way better. It fits perfectly snug into like the head tube. And then uh, moving down, obviously SES compression. SES compression is the best. No, like you can't argue it. It is the best. It, it like might be, I don't know. I don't even think it's heavier either. Like if you do it right, it's the perfect compression. It never comes undone for me. So shout out to SES. And then I've uh, got a little sticker on the inside, cut out and head tube obviously on the deck. I'm loving the new gold. The new gold is like way more chrome and you can see it just like shines in the light. Like I am so impressed. I didn't even know it was going to be this good of gold. And then I opened up the box and I'm like, what? This is insane. Like, so I don't, I don't know if you can tell through the camera how good it is, but it looks sick. And then I've got uh, full core wheels. They're 30 mil wide. I love 30 mil. Once you go 30 mil, you'll never go back. Trust me. Because like if I'm carbon, like it, it has the most surface area on the ground, so there's more contact on the ground, so you're not going to slip out as much. I think they have 120 wheels, by the way, so bigger wheels than normal, and they're just perfect. Overall light, they last me ages. And then uh, we've got the new fork design, which is just like kind of a standard fork. You can't really complain, it doesn't break, that's the main thing. The fork snapping is the worst possible thing you can do on a scooter, so I'm glad these things hold up and I never break them. But then the main thing is the deck. So the kind of the biggest new thing is just kind of the decals. I love the decals, they got like lines that like fade from each color. So there's also a black version of this scooter if you like it more stealth, you don't want the gold and stand out too much, but the, the black version is basically the same except switch colors. So where there's black, it's gonna be gold on the other scooter and then uh, it's just not as shiny. It's like more of a stealthy kind of look. Like I'll ride it probably when I ride street and I'll just switch it up here and there from the gold, but obviously this new gold is definitely my favorite. And then we got grip tape that covers the whole scooter. I uh, made sure they changed that. Before it was just grip tape from here to here. And I'm like, bro, I need grip tape everywhere. Cause when you're doing foot jams, certain tricks, your foot actually comes up here. And you know, in case your foot lands there, you want to have grip tape there. That's why, and it looks better. So I'm stoked on that. And then we got the normal brake and then the back wheel. But this thing is amazing. Uh, the grips are pretty standard. I actually have my own signature R Willy grips on a BMX. So. Obviously, uh, I, I don't know, those two things can't really collide. So I'm gonna actually take these grips off and put my R Willy grips on, but they're a BMX brand. So it's like, you can't really mix and match BMX grips on a scooter, so. But you can obviously do that aftermarket. So that's the only thing I'm gonna change today is I'm gonna put my signature R Willy grips from Snafu on. And then we're gonna ride this thing, so let's go. So I can't really go too in depth on these uh, grips because they're not even out yet. But uh, yeah, here they are. I have to test them, so that's the only reason I'm really changing these grips because I really need to test these out before they hit the market. But 
let's just say if you like ethic grips like myself then i kind of tried to base them around that something similar but different you know so i won't get a close-up but they'll be on the scoot all right Rash, come get it you get it yeah launching you so yeah i mean it's not too big for someone that's young but i would suggest getting the uh, smaller version but this thing obviously i ride it now and i'm 27 years old so if you want to scooter that'll last you 20 years <laughs> then you're good to go but uh we got this kicker here i'm going to put this kicker in some certain spots and just see what i can do on it the rail's really rusty so i'm hoping i got wax but if i don't then uh, we're just gonna have to stick to the ramps how's it feel good. it feels good mm -hmm. is it smooth all righty i am just so stoked this thing's so dialed i got my new grips on and uh basically when i when i ride a new scooter i always want to like break it in like make sure i feel it out because every scooter is like the tiniest bit different if you're like into balance tricks like me you know that like even a new trick new scooter feels funny and i got new shoes on so well not new shoes but different shoes i don't ride in usually so we're going to start slow and warm our way up to uh, some bigger tricks but first of all i'm going to start here with some balance tricks so we'll hit the nose manuals across this gap Ooh. Alrighty, start off simple, nosey to bar. Woo. Bang. This thing's so smooth. Alright, now we'll try to get some tricks in and out. First try, come on! Woo. Bang. Bang. <laughs> I always know it's going to be a good day if I get tricks like that first try, because it's like, it's, it's not so hard because I've done so many, but it's like, it's hard to get first try because you can fall over on those tricks and it's all right. But to get them first try, that's good. All right, now we're going to do bar in whip out. Uh. I didn't whip. <laughs> I was like tippy toe up. Uh. <laughs> right, Got to get used to the new scoot. Yeah. Oh, I haven't rode a skate park for ages either. Uh, I better pull the band aid off quick and just scratch this deck up. It looks real nice right now, but we've got to test the rail because the rail is the number one thing I love riding on this thing at the skate park at the moment. Just because this deck's so wide, you like lock in the grind so easy. So let's hit the rail and then we'll get this uh, little ramp out, see where we can put it. It's going to make me cry. It's got to be done though. I'm trying to think of like what trick I want to take the virginity of the scooter with on the rail. 270 crook. 270 back lip? Yeah. Here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that slide's nice. Alright, out of whip. <laughs> We're Damn. on today, I'll add a heel whip. No way! Oh. Choked on it. Exactly. Exactly. Get him. That's your. That's a good good form of psychosis right there. Man down. Bam. <laughs> All right, let's get serious now. We'll do like three bangers and then we'll get the ramp out. No. Two more, two more bangers. Sorry, I just keep thinking. <laughs> okay. Not a lot of whip to that. What the hell? Okay. Ah! Oh. Did you miss it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm rusty as on the rail, so we'll get another banger and then let's get this ramp out. All right, let's do it. Dude. <laughs> First try, I'm loving it. Still dialed, how are we looking? It's just got rusty wax on it. Alright, well, Holding up good, alright. Let's get, get this ramp out and just start putting it weird places. If you haven't seen the ramp, it's uh, it's called a Graw ramp. It's so hard to pronounce, but G R A W on Instagram, you'll find them. Let's start this thing off. Flip drop. How about I just flip off this ledge, because I've never done that before. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do I 
pull like a normal flat one, but it worked good. It worked really good. Alrighty. I really want to like up rail. I want to use it to do the up rail. How about you put it down the bottom yeah. and jump up the bank to the top rail? Up the whole thing. Is yeah. This is actually I mean, cool. that's a fair distance too. Yeah, it is. But, new, new gap. New gap. I'm just gonna jump up first and see how much height we get. But I'm should be, should be out of here. Oh, Dude. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I have a bit of speed, eh? Yeah, you're hooking. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is it. You got it ah! now. Yeah! Yo! <laughs> 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 I don't know. If that's like the silliest ways to put it, but at least we started hard. Now we'll go normal. This is what I've been dreaming of since I ever I got this ramp. I've been dreaming of doing this, so. Gotta cross the red. Yeah. Ow! Dude, so good. Dude, I wanna try that. And I don't even grind. Oh! <laughs> Alright. I gotta lock in and just do it. Yeah. Commit to it, boy. <laughs> That would have been so hard to do without a ramp. Yes! Great. I like just got that. Great success. Ah, smooth this thing. I'm stoked with that. Yeah, I'm stoked. That was cool. What are you doing? I'm just going to see how much kick it gives me out of the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gives you a lot of pop. Oh my god. Oh. To, the, um, to the ledge. To the ledge? Yeah, I've never done flip to the ledge, bro. Alright. Just land like that, right? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, just stay on the feeble now. Oh. It's hard to like stay in people probably. It's a bit all over the shop. Yeah. Ow! Bro, I made a switch. How <laughs> oh, so you meet life? It only took your whole song. All right, so I'm back. I didn't leave you. I stopped to get an Instagram clip and it took me a while. As you're gonna see right here, it took me a few tries. I landed it, landed switch, and then I'm like, okay, that's good enough because I didn't really, I like slid up like I had um, soap shoes on. I nearly died, then I was like, oh, I better give up, don't want to fall over, and then of course my our willy brain kicks in and I just can't give up, and we end up landing it, so yeah. not a bad clip, pretty stoked. Thanks Harley for filming. Well done, but hey, if you just want to see more of me taking that little ramp around to skate parks, to the streets, I know I definitely want to take it to the streets. I think that's where it's going to shine the most, but I think we do like a skate park trip with it and we just film a lot of different skate parks because obviously you see here it opened up a few things but um i'm sure at different skate parks it opened up even more so that's the plan but that's going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the new scoot here where is it that's the old one but where's my new scooter here looks good look at that it's sweet as it's been grinded out good good yeah. session go get yourself one of the other signature scooters they come in that size which is the biggest size which is my size. If you want a scooter that's gonna last you until you're my age and that's the scooter to get. Or if you're my age and you want a scooter, go grab that one. But uh, you can get smaller ones and then obviously, if you're a little tacker or you have a little tacker that you wanna get a scooter for, there's the R-Willy replica. So it's exactly the same decals, it's just way smaller. Like you can even get a mini one for like five year olds. So go to your local scooter store, check it out. And uh, yeah, link will be in the description. They might sell it at nitrocircus.com. So yeah, go check that out and uh, love you all. See you in my next video. Peace out.